driver Jenna Hathcarl here and it is 2008 and this is my first one of the year. Now today we will be discussing driving in the snow. I'm driving back to school. It's February 10th, my half birthday. So those of you that are smart can figure out what day is my real birthday. Um, and it was just snowing a bit heavier than before. I don't know if you can see my windows are steamed. Now it's just turned into a rain, but it was sticking, and there were people driving without their headlights on. Now this, number one, is against the law to be driving out with your, without your headlights on if you're using your windshield wipers. So it's snowing, so obviously you have your windshield wipers on, so therefore you are breaking the law. And number two, people, safe drivers like myself, who like to check the rear view mirror whenever I change a lane, like so, and check behind me, can't see you if the snow is thick and you don't have your damn headlights on. And then that causes accidents. So please be safe and use your headlights when it's raining, snowing, sleeting, I don't care. Whenever you want your weapons on, use your headlights. And definitely, let's talk about the head linger while you're driving. I won't demonstrate now. But you know, you've all done it, you know, you turn to see who's next to you. What is the appropriate head linger length? I don't think there is one. Because if it's too long, then you're just making awkward eye contact with the person next to you. If it's too short, that's great. If you're being stared at by people, other people in the car next to you, like the passengers, the ones who aren't driving, then it's even more awkward. And then it gets even more awkward when they tell the driver to keep up with this girl. It's bad. It's bad news. It makes everyone awkward and it makes you nervous. And then no one is focusing on their driving. And why do boys do it? I hate it. I hate it. They think they're being funny. They're not. They do it to everyone. Um, so don't hit me. 